Well, thank you all for having us. And good to see a few familiar faces. Um, so, Hassan, uh, uh, just do a brief sort of a biographical biographical introduction. He was born in uh, Beit Jala uh, in 1954, although he's not entirely sure of that year. Um, and when given the option to remove that birth date uh, a few years uh, later, um, uh, because it may resemble his uh, uh, or his, his accurate age, he looked at the Chinese uh, calendar and decided that he likes which uh, horoscope or whatever they're called in Chinese, uh, the zodiac. zodiac. Thank you. Uh, which the, the zodiac sign that he was in, so he kept that year, <laughs> false as it may be, um, and. Um, you know, uh, I would say that Hassan belongs to the um, uh, generation of uh, the Palestinian poets and Arab poets of the 80s, who I think um, left their mark, uh, particularly um, in the late 70s and, and after 1982, by moving the uh, uh, poem away from uh, uh, sort of the iconics of uh, heroism. Um, and actually breaking those myths, if you will, especially if one considers the the, the, the era of the uh, revolution and the PLO and what have you and its failures and, and delusions. Um, um, and uh, Rassan really uh, was able to forge his own poem, um, a, a very, um, to say a very is, is very difficult. It's, a, it's quite diversified. One of its features is its intimacy, its incorporation of daily details. But I tend to believe that he's quite a sculptor of the poem, both lyrically and diction-wise. And um, I chose the um, collections, uh, the last three collections, poetry collections, uh, with Like a Strawbird being the most recent, and I use its entirety in, uh, um, I translate the entirety of it in the book with the selections from the two previous collections, um, because I uh, became aware that these were the works of a poet who's finally hit his very, if I may say so, uh, magisterial stride. His, his Ars Poetica became very clear. Uh, we're often concerned, I think, uh, um, on a pendular uh, sort of uh, swing uh, as, as discussing Arabic literature or Palestinian poetry in particular uh, with the political and the thematic and, uh, uh, but uh, knowing that that's always there, um, I was uh, uh, admittedly much more fascinated by the, um, by the Ars Poetica, by how the Palestinian experience sculpts uh, a, a very original poet and how that poet also sculpts uh, his own Palestinian poetry. Uh, the book contains uh, a lot of sequences um, and I don't think uh, Hassan's work can be truly appreciated without delving deeply into those sequences. Uh, reading poems uh, to audiences uh, is, is always a mixed bag of choosing sort of these um, different reflexes, uh, um, but uh, I hope some of you delve deeper in the book. I, I, I don't want, you know, one can say he's published 10 books of poetry, he's also a novelist, has two wonderful novels, two different novels from each other, uh, and, and both really fantastic. He's done, uh, uh, he's written plays, um, uh, some of them have been produced, one of them he'd, he'd rewritten Richard II in, in Arabic, was produced in the uh, Shakespearean Olympiad in London uh, a few years ago. He's also written a, a play in Arabic that was produced in, uh, in Berlin uh, recently and again in Ramallah. Uh, so um, he's, he's quite, I think, uh, uh, an important discovery in English uh, to show the breadth and the depth that we know exists in Palestinian literature in particular uh, and Arabic poetry and literature in general. So, thank you. Thank you, Fadi. Thank you, Orf.
Ari de Marabek, Ari Jules. تذكر الجدة التعلات في غيبة الغائبة وانتظار المراكب بين الظهيرة والعصر حيث الشقوق العميقة للضوء والراضيات الأسيرات جداتنا في السهول يمشطن نوم التلال ويهرمنا في نومهن المشقق لم نبصر البحر لكننا نستطيع التأكد بعد التسابيح من أنه خلف خط التلال تقول الفتاة التي تكنز الحوشة حين تذكرت لما دلفنا المنارة أشعلت نارا وأدفأتني Remembering the grandmother Pretexts come along with her absence and with the waiting of boats between noon and afternoon when the light is deeply fissured and the satisfied prisoners our grandmothers in the plains comb the sleep of hills, then age in their fissured sleep. We haven't seen the sea, but we can be certain after the rosary prayers, it's behind the line of hills, says the girl who sweeps the courtyard. When I remembered, when we had come up to the lighthouse, you lit a fire and kept me warm. تذكر الوحيدات الوحيدات من لم يبعن مواعيدهن ولا يشترين المواعيد أشعلنا نارا على التل إذ يكثر التائهون ويشتد صمت الهواء الوحيدات يمشين في الظل سرب من السرو يجتاز خط التلال كتنهيدة الناي أو كالصفير الصفير الوحيد الذي قد تراه هنا غالبا في المساء الوحيدات من لا نحب ومن لا نواعد أرسلنا من يشرح الأمر للعابرين وأسهب Remembering the Lonely The lonely women who neither sell their appointments nor buy their appointments kindle a fire on the hill where the wanderers are many and the air's silence is tense. The lonely walk in the shadow a flock of cypress trees beyond, beyond the line of hills, like a flute sigh or a trill. The only trill you might perceive here, mostly around evening. The lonely, the ones we neither love nor rendezvous with, sent an envoy to explain matters to passers-by and spoke at length. تذكر التائبات والتائبات اللواتي رجعنا إلى البهو من غيرة في الجوار على وهن بعد صبح طويل وعصر يحممنا أكتافهن ويخلطنا أعذارهن القليلة بالماء فيما تؤدي الحديقة دورا جديدا أمام المساء سيأخذها من تذمر عاداتها العشر عارية حيث تنتظر الأغنية يذهبون 
مثل ما دائما يذهبون يذهبون بعد أن يتركوا الخبز فوق الوسادة والشمعة في الأمنية Remembering the repentant And the repentant women who return to the foyer from a neighboring jealousy fatigued after a long morning and an afternoon bathe their shoulders and mix their few excuses with water And as the garden performs in front of the evening a new role that takes her away from her ten querulous habits to where song awaits. They go as they always go after they leave some bread on the pillow and a candle in a wish. So we will switch now and I'll read in English first. <coughs> um, many of the poems uh, are sent, uh, some of the poems are sent, uh, writes are sort of uh, almost in the uh, inspiration or the um, topography of other art mediums like graphic sketches, uh, portraits and what have you. So this one's called a Graphic, 1994. All this wasn't intended, wasn't clear, amid the suspicion when we descended with merchants and dead and survivors and memorizers and divers and wily characters of the night on some winding dirt paths. The lightning that lit up the hills sketched bending ghosts and heads of anxious animals behind and above. The glass windows let the night flow into the rooms where now some other people breathe, watch the belongings of strangers in silence and remember their absence. The dead who were late to start their walking haven't arrived yet. The carriages also, as we were descending, shaking hands, leaning, while in the slopes, children called out to their parents in village accents. All this wasn't intended, plotted. Grafik, about same. كل هذا لم يكن مقصودا لم يكن واضحا في الريبة حين هبطنا مع تجار وموتى وناجينا وحفظة وغطاسينا ودهات أصحاب ليل ممرات مطربة وملتفة البرق الذي أضاء التلال رسم أشباحا منحنية ورؤوسا لحيوانات قلقة في الخلف وفي الأعلى الزجاج ترك الليلة يتدفق إلى الغرف حيث يتنفس الآن أشخاص غيرنا يراقبون بصمت أغراض الغرباء ويتذكرون غيابهم الموت الذين تأخروا في المشي لم يصلوا بعد العربات أيضا فيما نحن نهبط ونصافح ونتكئ بينما في المنحدرات أولاد ينادون على أهلهم بلهجات القرى كل هذا لم يكن مقصودا لم يكن مبيتا <clears throat> and continuing with the um, theme of hills, it's really a nice, it's one of the nicest views to read. Uh, I'll read this poem also called Salty Hills. The houses don't see us 
or it seems as if they don't. The trees don't bow when we pass, and we don't concern the birds. Our desires are clear to slave and master, our fates are saddled, and our daughters scold us whenever we think of the road. We are the ones whom the state sent to you with gold and books of the dead. We stayed in the alleys and bars and declared our gifts to the point of fatigue. We hung silk over the junkyards, and with memory we shut the eyes of the dead. We have no king and no judges. The anthem leaves us alone, so we ascend salty hills, and like a file of dead men marching, we appear to the caravans. We are many, like affliction, few, like content. That's how we became the soil of the story and its mud. Death follows our names, and fog mixes them with the mountain, and the shepherds shake their sticks at them while our horses breathe in our sleep. Only in the night, a woman calls out to her son, Ismail. Ismail, Ismail, Ismail. Then the mules quiver in junkyards, the hoopoos in Cyprus, the gazelles on slopes, the snakes in dead wells, and we rise as we have always risen. What shall we do for your sake when the horn is blown for our sake? What shall we do for your sake when every time we fall asleep we see someone other than you? Dilal Maliha Al Manazilu La Terana كأنها لا ترانا الشجر لا ينحني إذ نمر ولا يكترث بنا الطير رغبتنا واضحة أمام العبد والسيد وأقدارنا مشرجة وبناتنا ينهرننا كلما فكرنا بالطرق نحن الذين بعثتنا إليك الولايات بالذهب وكتب الموتى مكثنا في الدروب والحنات أثقلنا الأدلاء بالعطايا وعلقنا الحرير على الخرائب وبالتذكر أغلقنا عيون الموتى وليس لنا ملك ولا قضاء النشيد يتركنا وحدنا فنصعد تلالا مالحة ومثل رتل مشاة ميتين نبدو للقوافل كثيرون كالبلوى قليلون كالرضا هكذا أصبحنا تراب الرواية وطينها الموت يتعقب أسماءنا والضباب يخلطها مع الجبل والرعاة يهشونها بالعصي بينما تتنفس جيادنا في نومنا فقط في الليل ستنادي امرأة على ابنها إسماعيل يا إسماعيل يا إسماعيل يا إسماع إيل فترتجف البغال في الخرائب والهداهد في السرو والغزلان في المنحدرات والأفاعي في الآبار الميتة وننهض كما نهضنا ماذا نفعل لأجلك حين ينفخ في البوق من أجلنا ماذا نفعل لأجلك وكلما غفونا نرى سواك (تصفيق) 
So a son comes from uh, uh, Zakaria, uh, a, a raised village, now uh, some sort of industrial center or something in Israel in 1948. And this is a short poem called Four Sisters from Zakaria. Four sisters climb the mountain alone in black clothes. Four sisters sigh in front of the grove. Four sisters in the dark reading soaked letters. There was a train behind the photo passing from Artuf. There was a horse carrying a girl from Zakaria whinnying in the slope behind the plains. And the clouds were slowly passing through the canyon. Four sisters from Zakaria by the hill, alone, in black clothes. Four sisters from Zakaria by the hill, alone, in black clothes. أربع أخوات في العتمة يقرأنا بريدا مبتل كان قطار يعبر خلف الصورة من عرتوف كان حصان يحمل بنتا من زكريا يصهل في المنحدر وراء السهل وكان الغيم يمر بطيئا في الأخدود أربع أخوات من زكريا عند التل وحيدات بثياب سود The Canyon They're bizarre, these days of salt As if they belong to other than us <coughs> And like a well-spun tragedy that is now complete, they begin to breathe when we begin to remember. The forgotten hills on the boredom of slopes, the mountains that exhale to the west, the parading carriages of those who were murdered, and the total faith of one who's dead. The hands that appear out of the dark to tell you everything. The deep brotherhood that leads to no wisdom. The talk that's no longer suitable for high altitude. These days of salt are bizarre, disparaged like some rotten crop and lonely now in the pit. And as we climb, because the matter requires it. Our dark skins and our experiments in sleep roll down behind us, abandoned to no return. Long names and titles that stretch to eternity, accents also that betray a countryside no longer necessary. They're bizarre, these days of salt. So bizarre, they're not even good to remember. الأخدود عجيبة أيام الملح كأنها لسوانا ومثل مأساة محكمة اكتملت للتو يبدأون بالتنفس إذ نتذكرها التلال المنسية في سهم المنحدرات الجبال التي تشهق إلى الغرب عربات القتل الطوافة وإيمان الميت كاملا الأيدي التي تظهر من العتمة لتخبرك بكل شيء الأخوة العميقة التي لا تؤدي إلى حكمة الكلام الذي لم يعد مناسبا للأمكنة العالية عجيبة أيام الملح مذمومة مثل زرع فاسد 
ووحيدة في الهوة الآن وفيما نحن نصعد لأن الأمر كذلك تتدحرج مهجورة خلفنا إلى غير رجعة بشراتنا الغامقة وتجارب النوم أسماء وألقاب طويلة إلى الأبد لهجات أيضا تشي بريف لم يعد ضروريا عجيبة أيام الملح حتى أنها لا تصلح للتذكر somehow ended up being the manager of it. So, um, the, the, the book cover, I, I'm somewhat um, um, OCD-ish, maybe, um, about uh, my, uh, by the details of the books I work on. And so it, it was hard to find uh, a, a book cover I, I wanted. And uh, I have to credit uh, a name maybe some of you know, Salwa Mqdadi. Um, who's now in, uh, I think, working in Dubai, who uh, sent me a file of, of, of photos and, and artwork. And this is um, a mural um, by Suleiman Mansour, the iconic Palestinian artist. And uh, at the beginning of the second intifada, um, he chose not to, he chose to boycott uh, his own art because as long as that art required uh, materials that came through Israel. Uh, and so, he, he realized that the one medium he had full access to was, <coughs> was Palestinian soil. So he made these several wonderful murals uh, from, the, from the earth. And this one is called Peace. He wasn't sleeping. There's a helpless woman in his sleep. A recluse woman preoccupied with simple thoughts and needless accessories. A woman who enters his room when he falls asleep, she stares at his heart exactly there, his heart, then takes a flower out of the vase before he wakes to count the flowers missing one. Whenever he falls asleep, he finds himself roving in endless arches and watercolor roads affixed to the intimate scent of a woman's absence as if he were strolling in the memories of the missing flowers. Today, at 5.30 a.m., she stood behind the glass and stared at his eyes, and he wasn't sleeping. لم يكن نائما هناك امرأة مغلوبة على أمرها في نومه امرأة منطوية ومشغولة بأفكار بسيطة وفضائل لا حاجة لها امرأة تدخل غرفته كلما غفى وتحدق في قلبه تماما في قلبه ثم تأخذ زهرة من المزهرية وتذهب قبل أن يستيقظ ليعد الزهور التي نقصت واحدة كلما غفى يجد نفسه يطوف منفردا في أقواس لا نهاية لها وطرق بألوان مائية يتعلق في الرائحة الحميمة لغياب المرأة كما لو أنه يتجول في ذكريات الزهور الناقصة اليوم في الخامسة والنصف صباحا كانت تقف خلف الزجاج وكانت تحدق في عينيه ولم يكن نائما <تصفيق> He thought long of going back there. He thought of going back there 
for he had left her listening in a blue shirt and short sleeves. There was a man crossing the street without looking, whereas his infidelities were behind him stumbling like a heap of obese women, whereas he was going down the three steps careful not to bump into the pampered flower pot. He thought long of going back where he had left her listening with honey eyes and a cloven heart. A few boys were swinging intensely from the peach tree he has no memory of, while he was trying in vain to discern the steps and move the bougavia pot out of the way. When suddenly the bell rang, the ancient bell on the hill, the hill which since that night the Bougavia has covered that night when the eleven brothers killed their only sister. فكر طويلا في العودة إلى هناك. فكر في العودة إلى هناك. حيث تركها مصغية بقميص أزرق وكمين قصيرين. كان هناك. رجل يقطع الشارع دون أن يلتفت بينما خياناته تتعثر خلفه مثل كومة من النساء البدينات فيما هو يهبط الدرجات الثلاث محاذرا أن يصطدم بآنية الزهور المدللة فكر طويلا في العودة حيث تركها مصغية بعينين عسليتين وقلب مفطور ثم اولاد يتمرجحون بقسوة على شجيرة الخوخ التي لا يتذكرها بينما هو يحاول دون جدوى تقريبا تبين الدرجات وإبعاد نبات المجنونة عن العتبة عندما فجأة قرع الجرس الجرس قديم في العلية العلية التي غطتها أزهار المجنونة منذ تلك الليلة الليلة التي قتل فيها الإخوة الأحد عشر شقيقتهم الوحيدة This would be the last poem. Unless you guys stomp the ground for an encore. <laughs> an enemy comes down the hill. When he comes down or is seen coming down, when he reveals to us that he is coming down, the waiting and silence, his entire lack when he hearkens before the plants, his caution when he comes down like one postponed by a hush and by and by his being not us, and not here, death begins. He bought a flower, nothing more, a flower that has no vase and leaves no will. From the hill, he can spot the military checkpoint, the paratroopers, he can spot the squatters, the mountain edges, and the only road where their feet will leave a print in the rocks, mud, and water. Losses also will appear from the hill, abandoned without effort. And the fragility in shadow, the Jewish man with a long mustache who resembles the dead Arabs here. From the mountain edges, 
All the caves will appear peaceful and the road will seem as it were. While he was coming down, the caves continued to stare and blink in the cold. عدو يهبط التلال حين يهبط أو يرى هابطا حين يوحي لنا أنه يهبط الآن التمهل والصمت نقصانه كامل وهو يصغي أمام النباتات ريبته وهو يهبط المؤجل من صمته من أنه ليس نحن وليس هنا يبدأ الموت اشترى زهرة زهرة ليس إلا لا وصايا لها أو إناء من التل يمكن أن يبصر الحاجز العسكرية جنود المظلات يمكن أن يبصر القاطنين حواف الجبال الطريق الوحيدة حيث ستترك أقدامهم أثرا في الصخور وفي الطين والماء الخسارات أيضا ستبدو من التل متروكة دون جهد الهشاشة في الظل حيث اليهودي ذو الشاربين الذي يشبه العرب الميتين هنا في حواف الجبال ستبدو الكهوف مسالمة كلها والطريق على حالها بينما كان يهبط كانت كهوف الجبال تواصل تحديقها وهي ترمش في البرد Thank you.